Okay, so... Cookie Monster Blob Head and Elmo Blob Head are dry. And now, we are going to do their little eyeballs. Which means that you need a white. I am using Sinful Colors Snow Me White, or 101. Just a little blob of that. So, Blobo White. I'm going to use my brush for this, which may seem strange since I have this dotting tool. But my dotting tool is very small and the eyes need to be kind of big. So it's just easier to do it with the brush. And then I'm going to swirl it around in the white. And I'm gonna do Cookie Monster's little eyes first. Little dot. And it needs to go a little bit above his head. So when you are making your little blue blobby thing, make sure to keep that in mind. I kind of didn't keep that in mind. Um, so I'm having to work very hard to not go onto my cuticle doing this. So just get them as round as possible because Cookie Monster's eyes are round. They are not oval or anything like that. They're nice and round. And they should look about like that. And while those dry, since we're already using white, and Elmo's eyes are white too. Now Elmo's eyes are just a little bit lower down on his head, so. There's still some above his head, but they're not quite as high up on his head as Cookie Monster's. So there you go. That's all you're gonna need the white for, so you really don't need a big blob of the white. So clean your brush off. Very carefully get a blob of black. I am using Sinful Colors Black on Black 103. You're gonna need enough to do both of their mouths and the dots on their in their eyes, their little pupils. I am going to do little Cookie Monster's mouth first. You want Cookie Monster's mouth to be nice and open because he's got to be ready to eat some cookies. Cookie Monster's mouth, hopefully I can do this, is just kind of an oval shape with pointed ends so that it looks like he's smiling. It's okay if it's not like sharp edges because he has fur that does go into his mouth. So I hope you can see that kind of clearly. Um, and that's really all it takes for Cookie Monster. I'm gonna wait for the white of his eyeballs to dry some more before I put the pupils in. So while we do that, we're gonna carefully come over to Elmo. And Elmo's is a pretty straight top. Now, the trick with Elmo is that you have to leave enough room for his round orange nose. So, if you have short nails, you gotta be aware of that. Okay, and then he's always smiling. Elmo is always smiling. That's why kids love him, because he's a happy monster. Did you know that Elmo the monster is actually three years old? He has been for 25 plus years now. <laughs> so there's his little smile. And I'm actually going to clean my brush off because we are not gonna use the brush for the pupils. If you don't have a dotting tool, you can do the pupils with a toothpick. Um, that would actually be perfect but my dotting tool is itty bitty and is pretty much the perfect size to do little pupils. Okay, so I say that Cookie Monster's little eyeballs are dry enough for the next step. So go back to your little pool of black and get your little dotting tool or your toothpick and dip it into the end and just put, with Cookie Monster you have to make his eyes his pupils going like different directions because he's that that's just how he looks because he's like 
cuckoo for cookies and he always has that cuckoo for cookies look. So you want to put one down a little lower and then one kind of a bit higher and more centered just so they're like kind of looking in different directions and you have cookie monster <gasps> okay so you're gonna let cookie monster dry completely of course before you top coat him because if you top coat him before he's completely dry then you're just gonna smear him and then he's not gonna look like cookie monster while you've got your black and your dotting tool you're gonna do Elmo's eyes and Elmo looks straight ahead because that's just what he does if you look closely he's not quite Elmo yet now is he Elmo needs his little nose so you're going to need a pale yellowish orange and I'm gonna mix that all together so that I get a pale orange that is more the color of Elmo's little nose. What I am gonna use my dotting tool to paint Elmo's little nose on. So just put your center dot and then build from there and just make it pretty round. So there is Elmo with his little orange nose and there is Cookie Monster and I'm gonna let these two guys dry completely. 10 to 15 minutes probably. And then I am going to top coat. You can get the idea without the top coat. That's your finished look. I really hope that y'all enjoy this as much as I enjoyed doing it. And I'll see y'all in the next tutorial.